Hey guys, and welcome back to another Hat Tricksy video. In this interview, we got to sit down and talk to Megan Crossan, a defender for the Washington Spirit, about all things professional soccer and player development. Also, if you haven't heard, we're selling Hat Tricksy shirts now. If you want yours today, look in the description for more details. Now sit back and relax, and let's get to this interview. Hi, we're here for another Hat Tricksy interview, and we're here with Megan Crossan. Uh, thank you for having us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, all right, so we're just gonna go like questions about basically how you got to this professional level and how it's impacted you. So um, let's just dive right into it, I guess. <laughs> um, first question. So from moving up the, up the level as a player, um, what has helped you to stay grounded, like not only as like an athlete but as a person as well? Um, first thing that comes to my head is probably the support of my family ever since I was a little kid. So, yeah, just their unconditional love and support. And the soccer journey isn't easy and the sacrifice, but they've never doubted me or questioned my decisions. So I see that you want to say Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, how has that helped you to become like, the player? Like, that experience helped you become the player now? Um, that, those are the best four years, but we had a very traditional program. and. Our coach like really integrated the values that he passed down for 20, 30 years now. So those values, we call them our core values, um, still stick with me today. And they're so ingrained in my head that I'll think of them still. So. <laughs> yeah. What sacrifices have you made because of like that personal development? Like, have you had to make a lot of sacrifices because of that? Um. Yeah, my professional journey hasn't been easy since college. I've played on, I think, four or five teams in four years. So every move I made, I could have stuck with the team for two years, but I ended up switching teams because I thought that was better for my development and the path that I was on. Um, so yeah, just making decisions that don't necessarily seem easy, but you look in the future and figure out what's best for you. And then away from the coaches and the team, like, how do you assess your own personal development? What do you do outside of those practices? Yeah, that can be tough. It's my management because we're so exhausted from training. You go home and it's easy to just lay there and I'm so tired. But um, probably going back to like mental, mental strength and mental reflection. And I don't know. I like to write things down, reading and writing and. Uh, journaling, I guess. Um, meditating, staying grounded. Yeah. How has this like Washington Spirit community like helped you grow as a person? Um, this is it's just such just such a close knit group, and it, everyone here would say it feels like family. So I don't know, just having that support similar to my own family, like it's unconditional and they're with you no matter what. Every single girl has to has each other's back. So probably that just the support support system through the players, through the staff, the whole program. That's cool. We have like a few fun questions. Like, yeah. um do you have any uh, pre game rituals, like you're pretty superstitious, you're just kinda like um, um, I think I used to be growing up like tying one shoe first, but not anymore. I think I've realized like it doesn't always match up. Like you try one thing and then a different result happens. So I don't necessarily believe in that now. But I do have a coffee before every game. Extra energy caffeine. Yeah, I have to drink like that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like <laughs> 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 um, What's your like favorite part of training? It can be anything. Um, you play this drill where it's like one v ones that turn into two v ones that turn into two v three. It's pretty fun. It's a transition game back and forth. Oh yeah. And uh, last question: What kind of like message or advice would you have for like young athletes who want to like go go for? Um, I think it's if you have a goal that you're stuck on and you're set on it, like only you know what you're capable of, so only you can set your mind towards it and you go relentlessly towards it and achieve it. Um, sacrifices might be necessary and obstacles might come your way, but 
only you know what you're capable of. So listen to your heart and what you what you desire. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks, guys.